Okay, welcome back. This is the Spike Prime Essential, and we're doing the top view of the un of the uh, unboxing. I've already got the pieces sorted out, so I did all of that without all the crinkle crinkling and sound uh, for you all. But this is the top tray piece, nice and colorful again, and you want to go to Lego Education get started, and you want to get your essentials. Uh, download or update your Spike Prime. Here's a top tray here. We got all the great colors here and they did flip-flop the people from one corner to the other but it tells you everything you need to know and why this is important if you didn't see my Spike Prime video and you're considering the next level up because this is 6 plus and the Spike Prime is 10 plus you would want to uh, keep this top tray maybe not in the box but this will help to use sort pieces and your students to sort pieces as well. And also sometimes when they're moving it around uh, with this top clamped on really nicely, uh, it keeps those pieces from jumping around and get misplaced. So uh, that is up to you in your learning environment. Uh, these are gonna be pieces in the base part and this is a scale model of your axles, which comes in handy as well. So let's uh, open this up and get the digging in there look at those colors that is amazing we have this kind of pumpkin orange uh separator i was looking for my other separator i couldn't find it but uh this looks like a different little bit different color so we have a lot of great elements in here uh technic and brick build pieces and again this is going to help the students sort pieces back put the colors together and not necessarily the axles and the beams and and such like that and this will help them reference as well in this top. I did notice something on the new belts. The new belts are, this is a new one. You can see that color is a lot darker. I'm sorry, this is a new one. The color is a lot darker. It has a different uh, different feel on it, uh, but they do seem to have the same elasticity. Uh, hopefully this one's a little bit more durable. Not that I have problems out of that one, but uh, this one just seems uh, to have a different uh, cast to it. Uh, nice, nice pieces for increasing the size of your boxes. I mean, it increases the size of your build. And again, I talked about the separate tray. I don't have this set for my class yet, but my Spike Prime set I do have. So the students are able to separate this out between each other and build one on the left side and one on the right side, and they can have access to different pieces. And if they need to move this tray to, from one side to the other, they can do that uh, easily as well. What else did I know? Here's a new piece here. Uh, this is a, it has a stud piece at the bottom and a Technic peg at the top. And what you would do here, let me get an opposing color. What you would do is put this bottom piece down on top of the stud and it allows you to bring it up to a, a Technic converter. And it is frictionless. Well, of course, you know, whatever the frictionless means to you. And it allows it to have a little space in between it so you can have some a lot of really good fun and you can if you get that stuck that piece like I had earlier just get your Lego separator and unwedge it uh, right out to a certain length or push it through that way right there of course we know what Lego separator does if not there are some instructions on that as well all your minifigures a lot of great uh, accessories in here to have a lot of fun with your uh, axle pieces there uh, so let's not delay to get into the bottom of the tray, I'll set those up here. This is a box of replacement elements and you don't wanna keep this in here. You wanna keep this on your shelf as a teacher and these are all the elements you have. You can mark off, uh, you know, use one or two or three or I'm out, or I need to order that. And there's a part number right there for you. Again, Lego Education is taking good care of us. When we need to order pieces and parts, we don't have to look up the name or the numbers, put that in and order that. I'm not sure if you can order this whole, I think you can order this whole replacement box. I don't know the price on that. I'm not sure if it's available yet, but that will definitely help you out on getting those elements as well. Or you can use this for extra building also if you need to. So I set that aside. And in the bottom here, uh, looks like a lot of space, but most of your models, after you build them, you can put them in the lower part of this tray. And look how much space is in there. You can put your, lower, your piece in the lower part and of course you have stickers to number your boxes and you can keep your model here for the next class if you have enough sets to do that. So that allows you to uh, 
either put your model on top or put it inside. Most of them can go inside. Uh, do I start with the little guy first? Sure. This is a new Spike Prime Essentials hub, and this is the battery, and this is this is extremely light. I, I mentioned this light uh, because it has so much going on with it. And when you plug it in, you just want to line up. You can see the plug-in part here, and you get it, but this is extremely hard to take out. I, I left it out because I, it's, it's extremely hard to remove that battery. You don't need to remove it because it's a chargeable but my fingers were, uh, I have really strong Lego fingers and that was really tough. Uh, power up here, A and B port. The, this is Spike Prime uh, main hub. Uh, you can see the size here, I'll put that on top. You can see the dimensions uh, on the side and how much space it has. It's almost twice as uh, big with one module in between it. And uh, the Spike Prime has six output ports and this one has two with a charging port and a light to tell you when it's charged. Uh, it does have a gyro sensor, accelerometer inside, which is impressive, and it can use all of the sensors. Although this set does not come with all of the sensors, it can and has a coding for all of the sensors in the icon blocks, the word block, and the, uh, and the uh, I don't think this will use um, uh, the other coding, but it, it might. I haven't tried that out yet. We'll look at that. Uh, for later. Python, excuse me. Uh, so it, since the top of the hub does not light up, you do have a light matrix here, which has uh, nine light lit areas, which I'll uh, do that in the coding. And these will run 10 to 12 different colors. And you can put them in individual colors, individual lights and individual parts and do all kinds of different patterns. Uh, great connectability, excuse me and great connectability on the brick. And this is, I think it's gonna be really essential for extra builds to put this inside of, um, inside of creations. So this is, this, this is your light for this creation here. Uh, smaller wheel compared to the Spike Prime wheel. Uh, I love this size because the expansion wheel is even bigger than that. So I, I love this size wheel and great connectability on the inside also. What is that, Mr. Michael? Yes, that is a new small motor. This is your regular medium motor, which came in the Spike Prime. And this, of course, is the large motor, which came in Spike Prime. Uh, the small motor has great connectability up front, and it still has that flat flesh uh, wiring, which is attached. I uh, haven't had any problems with that yet. Uh, connection at the top and some on the side. Uh, not in the front, but it does have that same zeroing out part. You have two of these. Two small motors, which I'm very excited about. They, they're really fast. I'm not sure what the torque on them yet, but they but they are really fast and not as loud, uh, but they do well. Two small motors, and it does come with the light sensor. I'm oh, sorry, color sensor in here. And those are the, these are the, this is not a sensor, but the color matrix and the color sensor are the two sensors that come inside with the two motors. And, but again, as I mentioned, the other sensors will work, so you can, attach the ultrasonic, I mean infrared, ultrasonic, excuse me, ultrasonic sensor to the Spike Prime Essential set and it'll run, and you can have a coating for that, icon coating as well, and you can put the force sensor on, although the force sensor does not measure uh, the Newtons on that, you can do it as a touch sensor uh, for this, although you have two ports, you just need to figure it out like you did the WeDo uh, sets and the um, we do, we do, the we do 2.0 and um, the other base parts right there with only two outputs and the, um, I'm trying to say uh, the boost for retail. So that would be those parts there. And you have some nice stability pieces that increase the top of your models and some nice uh, plug-in. Here's your plug-in and download cable if you need to do updates. You can do wireless uh, Bluetooth, which this does have a course. And you can do a plug-in as well, download or upload. Download your program, update your software. And nice large plates, two large, two mediums, and two smaller. So these actually uh, go there. You can make two large ones there. So you have a lot of uh, surface area for that and some Technic, uh, larger Technic brick there. So thank you guys for joining me on this um, this tour of the box. Can't wait to get in, make some models, and 
talk some more about each of these motors compared to the uh, larger motor, the sensors, how the hub works, and then even get into the software as well. So stay tuned for more, uh, more uh, videos on this. And in the comments, please, uh, if you have a question about any part right there, leave that questionnaire as well, and I'll get back to you and answer that or do a demo on it as well. All right, thank you guys, Mr. Michael. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.